Hello. I suspect there are few of us who haven't been touched by the awful images of despair that we've seen arising out of Afghanistan. And I'm guessing we only see a fraction of what's really happening in that place from those pictures around the airport and the evacuation of uh, foreign nationals and some Afghanis from uh, Kabul. We know that there's a very big refugee population in neighbouring countries. I think between Iran and Pakistan, several million. Uh, some European countries like Germany have taken in substantial numbers of uh, Afghan refugees over the last couple of years. And it's going to be important that Australia is willing to have its responsibility in the community of nations for this to happen, for people to find some safety. We hear on a, a daily basis the numbers from COVID positive testing, people who are in hospital, they seem both in New South Wales and in Victoria to be uh, stubbornly growing. It's very easy for us to feel the heavy weight of the world upon us. And I'm sure for some people it even looks like things are just unravelling. All the world we've known seems to be unravelling around us. And I guess from the information we have, we could easily let that weight sink into our hearts, fill our minds and totally alter our perspective about how we look at our life and the lives of others. It's not hard to see how any of us can uh, easily reach some point of despair. I found that reflecting on some parts of uh, the book of Isaiah to be a very productive countermeasure to that natural human tendency. Isaiah 26 verse 4 speaks of God as a rock. Trust in the Lord, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Isaiah 26 goes on to talk about the anticipation of resurrection, where resurrection might come from and where hope exists for those who follow the obedience of Isaiah to the Lord God in seeing that God is at the centre of all of human history, the firm point around which other things can find their measure. And I think this is one of the important disciplines of our spiritual traditions. To enter into that reflective and meditative space with Christian scripture. Some things will kind of really speak to us, they'll leap out. This was one verse that uh, I found quite helpful to reflect on, and you might find others as you read through scripture, but the, the daily reading of scripture, perhaps reading it in the context of morning prayer and evening prayer, uh, other disciplined ways of reading through scripture, gives us the, the point at which our, our hearts and our information that we have about the world is also open to the voice of God speaking through Scripture. And I think there's a great truth that God is wanting to be present with us, irrespective of our circumstances, even irrespective of the place we might get to ourselves by following our natural tendencies of anxiety or even finding that we end up in a place of despair a place where our capacity to impact and change circumstances seems to be so limited and that can be a very enfeebling feeling for any of us. So use these opportunities of the great gift that we have in Scripture to fill your heart with some other narratives, with some other promises, with some other realities, the reality of God ever present with us. And this metaphor of God being a rock, Christ being a foundation stone, there's many examples of that through scripture. But however you might read that and in whatever part of scripture you might read it, even whatever part of our 
hymn tradition or singing tradition, you might find those metaphors at use. I think it's good for us to find that rock at the heart of our existence, that firm truth which doesn't change with the changing things of the world, that point from which we can answer our human tendencies to feel diminished, to feel dis desperate, even to feel that our anxiety is so crippling. God has a continuing purpose for us in the life of his church, a continuing purpose for us as a blessing in the world. So may the Lord Jesus bless you, watch over you, keep you and protect you in all of the changing circumstances of life this day and evermore. Amen.